Ben Sparman, and I'm a 3D printing application engineer here at TriMet. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about how to calibrate tips on a Stratasys F123 series printer. We're going to want to calibrate the tips after the heads have been changed. For best practices on the F123 series, it's best to have a different model head designated for each different material, material available. Once the heads have been changed by disconnecting the material feed tube using this little lever and pulling the ribbon cable, we can pop the old head out and pop the new one in. Once the new head is in, we're gonna to wanna to calibrate it to make sure that it prints as accurately as possible. To do that, we're gonna head over to our tools. We're gonna to hit this middle button and we're gonna select tip calibration. Now we see we have two options here. We have automatic tip calibration and we have manual tip calibration. To start, we're gonna start with the automatic tip calibration. So we're just gonna make sure the door's closed and we're gonna press start. Now that our automatic tip calibration has completed, we're gonna go up here and click finish and then we're gonna press manual tip calibration. Now this is going to allow us to build our print calibration part and that'll help us determine and adjust uh, some of the calibration values to make sure we get the printer settings locked in. So we're gonna go ahead and press start and we're gonna press print. So now we can see the build platen is going to raise and the printer is going to build a calibration part which we can manually inspect and we can then input those values to help us calibrate our printer. So we'll come back. This print should take about seven minutes and once that's done, we can go ahead and inspect it. All right, so now that our manual tip calibration is completed, we can go ahead and remove the build tray. and we can take a look and inspect our calibration part. So our objective here is to go along all four sides of our calibration part. And you'll notice this piece of support material right here that's in between two lines of model. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look along each axis and we're gonna look to see where the support material is the most centered between the two uh, model material lines. We're gonna do this better by using our 10 times magnifier and we can actually go ahead and locate where it's centered and where, it mo where it's most centered, we'll drop down to find our value and then we'll input this into our touch screen on the printer and that will help us calibrate the X and Y values for the printer. Now we're gonna repeat this process along all four edges being X1, X2, Y1, and Y2 and once we input those into the printer, um, we, can, we can save that as the calibration parameters. Next, we're gonna check the Z height. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this piece of support material that has been printed on this inside square. Now, once that's done, we're gonna take a pair of calipers and zero it. And we're just going to take measurements on each side of the support. We're going to be sure to take the measurements on the middle parts of the support, whereas on the corners it might uh, there might be a little bit of squeeze out, and we might end up with some inaccurate readings. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a reading on all four centers of the support and we can take the average and we're gonna input that as our Z height value. Once we've taken our measurements from the calibration part, we can come over to the touch screen here and we can use our sliding scale to adjust the location where the support material is most centered along those two model lines. And we can see here, so now we can change our Z height using these arrows. There, and we'll click apply. Now the next step, we're going to close this 
And just to confirm, we're going to uh, print another calibration box. So we're just gonna go back to tip calibration and we're going to do another manual tip cal. And once we do that, we can go ahead and see that our calibration is correct. And then we can start printing. And as you can see here, we have we are perfectly ten thou. So we now know that the Z height is calibrated properly. So now we're gonna go ahead and go around each side and check again with our magnifier. And we can see, let's zoom in. And you can see that it's just zeroed right on the zero line, right in the middle. And we're gonna go around looking at all four sides for just that. Here again. If these sides are not perfectly zeroed, go ahead and readjust those sliding scale values and you can repeat the process until all of the sides have the support right in the middle of these two lines. And once you've done that, your F123 series printer is perfectly calibrated and ready to print. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to perform a tip calibration on a Stratasys F123 series printer. For more information, or other tips and tricks about 3D printing, don't forget to head over to trimac.com. Thanks.